There's like four croutons in here. <laughs> Why am I saving this? I'll take one for the team. I'll eat the cookies so they don't have to go back in the fridge. <laughs> the dishwasher just has to do its thing right now. Yes. It's still going. How much water can you possibly be draining? Full disclosure, you guys, I really am not entirely sure what this video is going to be. <laughs> exactly what you want to hear, right? Like that you have no idea exactly how the next 12 to 17 minutes of your life are going to be spent, but here we are. The situation is that I really need to clean out my pantry and my fridge. And when I say clean out, I don't mean like pantry and fridge cooking, although we are trying to eat down some of the things in our kitchen right now. I mean, I actually need to like take everything out of it, clean it out, throw away anything that's gone bad, reorganize it, maybe do a little decluttering. And I was trying to decide if I want to film that. So I think I'm going to try. We're going to film that and I'll just take you through what I'm doing. I'll give you a peek at what everything looks like now. It's definitely a mess. Hopefully I can give you some ideas or at least some inspiration. And along the way, I don't know, I mean, we might cook up a few things. I might find some things in the refrigerator or the pantry that I want to whip up into some snacks. And maybe I will also get some B-roll over the next few days of how I am using some of the things that I'm coming across so I can give you an idea of just how we are trying to use things up. So it's kind of like a little bit of declutter and organization inspiration with a little sprinkling of use it up challenge slash pantry cooking mixed in. I don't know. Let's see where it takes us. I'm gonna start with the pantry because for some reason that seems easier in my mind and I wanna start with the easy thing. <laughs> Okay, this is the pantry, you guys. And it's not just like horrible. I just feel like the kids have been in it. I've been in it. Stuff has been moving around. We've like moved things from one shelf to another to get to other things. I just kind of need to go through and reorganize it. Maybe combine open packages, refill snack bins, stuff like that, and just make it to where it just makes sense. But I also feel like these shelves need a nice wipe down. So I'm going to actually take everything out of here. And who knows, we may discover some things we forgot about in the back. This is only from two shelves. <laughs> two of the four shelves that are in there. So I'm already seeing some things though that I can combine and kind of condense and reorganize. Everything is out from the shelves on the pantry. I didn't take anything off of the floor of the pantry. I also did not remove my canned goods from the pantry because I felt like I could just kind of rearrange those myself where they were. Since those are heavy, I didn't want to have to haul them back and forth. So I just kind of went ahead and took care of reorganizing those and putting like items together, kind of taking stock of what I have right there. So what I'm gonna do now is wipe off those shelves. I'm going to use the Go Clean Co countertop solution that I often use. It is a teaspoon of Tide, a quarter cup of bleach, and then about six to eight cups of water. Warm water is what I use. I'm just going to wipe down my shelves. And then while that's drying, I'll be ready to kind of work on this because I definitely see some low hanging fruit where, you know, condensing things is concerned and also some things that probably just need to be thrown away. I did not think that my pantry shelves were that dirty, but that is what my water looks like after wiping down just those four shelves. Ew. This little cookie shortbread kit has been in my pantry for about 10 months because my sister gave it to me after Christmas time and it's October now. She didn't use it, so she sent it to me. And it's been in there and I thought, sure, I'll take that. We'll make that. 
and we just never do. If we are making cookies or cupcakes or snacks or whatever, I don't know, we just don't reach for this. But Ruthie really likes to bake and she actually needs to take a snack to her small group this Sunday. So I'm leaving this out on the counter because I figure tomorrow is Saturday and she will want something to do because we have a pretty lazy Saturday going on here. And so I can have her make these up. It just calls for butter and she can follow the directions on the package and make these up to give to her friends at church and in her small group on Sunday. And that will get this out of my pantry which is coming up on the Best Buy date anyway in a few months. pantry organization video, but just in case you missed that one, I usually have a bin where I keep sticky stuff. So this is peanut butter syrup. If I ever have honey, it's in here. The Cairo syrup or the corn syrup is down here. This is some apple butter. Basically anything that is sticky and sometimes might be, you know, leaking down the package. I try to protect my shelves and from like getting sticky on my shelves by putting it in this bin, which makes it really easy to like take it out and clean the bin from time to time and also just kind of keeps it contained in its own compartment. I also keep a little basket where I keep open packages of chips and I used to keep bread and stuff in there as well until I got a little bread box back there that actually sits out on my counter. But open packages always go in the front so that we can see them. And if I have room in the back of the basket, I'll go ahead and put the full packages, the unopened packages, but sometimes I just set them right behind them in the pantry. But I definitely want to keep the open packages on display where everybody can see so that they get eaten first. Am I the only person whose family puts empty or nearly empty containers back in the pantry. I don't know how many times I have found empty cereal boxes, empty cracker boxes, empty chip bags. There's like four croutons in here. <laughs> Why am I saving those? I'm not, sorry. Yeet. We are down to just putting the snacks back into the pantry. And I always have a bin for like fruit and fruit cups. And I was able to empty out whatever I had stored elsewhere into the bin. I always have a bin of pretzels. This little container is the exact right size to hold graham crackers. Unopened packages, I just sit right next to everything else. I always have a bin that's like random open packages of things. So like pretzels and crackers and things. And it does get eaten eventually, especially whenever I moved this bin to the front in front of these other ones. And you guys know if you've watched my channel how much I love the little trick or treat packages that come around this time of year because they're little half ounce portions instead of the standard one ounce portion that comes in, you know, the bigger snack size bags. And I pretty much only see them this time of year in this kind of variety. So I was able to refill our little salty snack bucket and our sweet snack bucket. And the kids can take these in their lunches or for snacks like before swim and gymnastics. And then the other things that are not in packages are things that we tend to eat at home. So like the pretzels and the crackers, we usually just limit the package stuff to when we are leaving the house. But I was able to condense what I have left left into like salty snacks here and sweet snacks there. And those will go down on the bottom until I'm ready to refill these bins, but everything's ready to go back in. Okay, I think that is looking so much better. And I actually feel so much better about this because I have seen some of the things that I have and I'm getting some ideas for what to make in the coming weeks to kind of use a few things up. There are some things that I'd forgotten about. Now, you know, if you are no stranger to my channel, that we are very passionate about using things up around here, at least I am. I am very particular about trying to be good stewards of the things that we have, making good use of them, using things up before they go bad, not forgetting about things that we have in our pantry, but the dishwasher just has to do its thing right now, I guess. But sometimes for whatever reason, something just is not going to get eaten. Maybe it's because it was a new thing that we tried that we didn't like, or maybe it is something that just got pushed to the back and now it is stale or it has passed its expiration date or whatnot. So I have a few items here. I'm sorry, but this is real life. And I feel like I sometimes need to show you guys that sometimes we just, we just don't get to it, you know, or there are things that we end up having to throw away. And something I saw a while back on The Minimal Mom has really changed the way that I think about holding onto things out of obligation. It is that sometimes we have to think about our own mental and emotional health and how we feel whenever we have like a neat, tidy space. And that's how I feel about my kitchen, especially. So sometimes if there are things that I just know I'm keeping out of obligation because I think I absolutely have to use them, you know, eventually it just comes to a point where I'm like, I actually just need that out of my space so I can make room for other things that we will eat and use. God, it's still going. How much water can you possibly be draining? So overall, I think we do a pretty good job of using things up, but needless to say, 
So long, two-year-old stale pistachios. Sorry, four-year-old nutritional yeast. Just not my jam, not gonna use it. Sorry, Wendy's spicy chicken Pringles. <laughs> You've been open for well over a month and nah. And oddly enough, the dill pickle Pringles that we actually really liked, just I guess we decided we didn't like them because they sat in the pantry for over four weeks and they just have not gotten eaten. <sighs> Sometimes it just happens, y'all. Now for the fun part, the refrigerator. Ugh. I hate having to clean out my refrigerator. <laughs> All right, here it is. Here it is. No work beforehand. This is just what it looked like when I opened the door. <laughs> Plus all of this stuff over here in the door. So again, I do think I am going to go ahead and take everything out. I know that I will have a limited amount of time to get everything back in, but I just think that's the easiest way for me to see what I have and also maybe what needs to go to the trash. I also need to clean off all of the shelves, clean out the bins, all that fun stuff. So we'll do that and then we will get this whipped back into shape, yay. drawers are clean and drying and I did go through the produce. I did have to throw out just a few things actually, not very much at all. Clearly we are big fans of limes and I actually threw away a few that were past their prime. I think it's one of those things we always pick up because we're not sure we have any at home and then we do and so they just fill up. So this is the rest of uh, what was in there minus just a couple of things that were past their prime. So not too shabby, just gonna wait on those to dry and then we'll get everything back in. bought these cookies for a party that we hosted last Friday and then I didn't get around to baking them. So I'm actually going to just pop these into the oven right now according to the package directions because we are meeting up with some friends later on and our families are gonna hang out and I figure the kids and let's face it, the adults would probably love to have a fresh cookie even if it's not homemade. So let's go ahead and rid the refrigerator of this. I will, I'll take one for the team. I'll eat the cookies so they don't have to go back in the fridge. <laughs> Okay, so here's everything that came out of the fridge, minus the produce, which is over there, which I've already shown you. And I've cleaned out the fridge, just wiped it down, same solution that I used in the pantry. What I'm seeing here is a lot of snacky type stuff. Like over here in this bin, I know that there's like some cheese and salami and stuff like that, pepperonis. I know that there's a few packages of dip in here. That's a good thing for me to see because tomorrow is Saturday and on Saturdays, I tend to do like kind of a snacky spread. Instead of doing like brunch or breakfast, you know, like a big Saturday morning breakfast, what I will do is I will get in the refrigerator and I will get out odds and ends of things. So any like lunch meat or cheese and crackers, maybe containers of leftovers, obviously these containers of dip that are here and I will just spread it all out for everybody to munch on throughout Saturday and that will actually help us not only be fed in a very easy way because I don't usually cook on Saturdays, it also helps clean out some of the things that we have in the refrigerator. observations that helps me make a plan for some pantry cooking and you guys know that I do use it up challenges all the time. I do have a few things of leftovers here. These are like single servings of leftovers from this week which will get eaten and I've already talked about things like dips and snacky items that I have a plan for but I've noticed that I have two containers of parmesan cheese here plus a wedge of parmesan cheese right there and I've also noticed that I have two open containers of cottage cheese and one that's unopened and this is still good for a few more weeks so I should be able to use that up. I have a tiny bit of this plain Greek yogurt left in here that's from Aldi and then I have another container of it here and I also know that I actually have two containers of half and half. One that's like half 
full, like half of a half and half, half a half and half, <laughs> and then another uh, full one. So that makes me really think about recipes and seeing what's in my pantry earlier. Think about maybe soups or pastas or something that will use up maybe some of these ingredients, like some kind of pasta recipe that calls for Parmesan cheese. I could make some fettuccine maybe. Some kind of soup, like maybe a Zippo Toscana. Actually, I think I will be making Zippo Toscana here in the next um, week or so. So it helps me kind of keep that in the back of my mind so that I can make a plan whenever I'm thinking about dinners to use this stuff up. I'm so very sad that this is already half gone. I've only had it for about three or four days. I got this from Trader Joe's. I've been using it in my coffee and it is so, so good. Okay, you guys, I think that is looking so much better. And I actually didn't have as much to throw out as I thought I would have or as much that really needed to be used like right away. And I have a plan for how I can use some of the things that I pointed out to you guys. I also wanna mention that I actually recently just went through the door like on a whim one day <laughs> whenever I opened it up and was like, ah, I can't stand this. I actually kind of reorganized this stuff, you know, threw out a few things that needed to go and just made sure that everything here is stuff that I know is there. And have a plan to use but I am very very pleased with how this turned out that is what I have for you guys today thank you so much for watching I feel so much better having that chore out of the way and it's amazing how much better even though I don't see those spaces all the time even though they're not visible to just somebody walking through my house isn't it amazing how good it feels knowing that that space is organized and that when you open it up you know exactly what you're gonna find I did not get to my freezer today I need to do that too here in the next few days. The good thing about the freezer is I feel like it's pretty quick to kind of clean out because usually there's not like a lot of messy stuff that I need to clean up. It's just sort of taking stock of what I have and maybe realizing, oh, hey, there's a half used package of hash browns in here. I need to figure out what to do with those. So I will definitely get to that. But I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits on this video and I will check in again with another one very soon.